that. Thank you, Jim. Jim Choi is the chair of the Germania Foundation, and he is here today to an extent an invitation to all of you for a magical holiday experience. Chris Kendall, Mark, one of my favorite things. Oh, it's a fantastic opportunity. This is really our second year, and last year was outstanding. The uh, number of people that we had there uh, coming to visit, but we had full uh, 32 different uh, vendors there with a lot of different materials, all handmade, whether it's food or whether it's crafts or whatever. It's a family affair, basically. We have um, one of the things that I have up here in the front. I, they have a, a whole room downstairs strictly for the kids. So the moms or dads can go upstairs and kind of look through the different things that the Shop, vendors yeah. have. And these things for the kids to make, these are all, some of them have uh, materials on them already, but things that Little the kids projects. can then can uh, pick up and, and paint on or uh, put their decorations Cute. on. Uh, we also have, which I failed to bring in, some... Um, uh, bird feeders, you know, where you put the uh, um, peanut butter in and then the oh, bird the feed, feed on, on the, the outside, outside on the cones. Yes. So, and a lot of greenery so they can do their own little thing. And uh, so it keeps them busy. Christmas music out in the, uh, the uh, fest hall. And uh, so it'll keep people going all the time. So it's all indoors, Jim? All indoors. Okay. And we are thinking if the weather is good, we have about 15 to 20 vendors that want to join us. And uh, oh, so they have, yes, vendors, okay. they've, uh, they've, they're going to make an offer if somebody wants to go outside, maybe there'll be two or three different uh, booths outside, but right now it's all indoors. It's all at Germania. All at Germania Monocore, yes. All right. Well, for the audience who is not familiar with Chris Kendall Mart, maybe they've never seen that and is fairly new to our area, what is the story behind these European markets? Well, basically they were small uh, cities over there, villages and what have you, and uh, the individual people make their own materials. Uh, they hardly ever travel from one place to the other, but around the church they have a square, and they each have their own little booth that sits up for a week or two. Uh, they make their own ornaments out of glass. Um, all the different things that each of them are, are skilled at will be there for sale all during that time, and it's just... I've been to two or three of them, and they are just magical. The people are very friendly and, and involved with it. And that's what we were trying to recreate um, at Germania Monocor. Well, and of course, it's such a, a German idea, this whole idea of the Christmas market. And it's so much fun. And we have to talk about food, because everybody wants to know, when they think of you, they think of food. There's some, some really delicious food that we have this time. Um, there is one chef. I'm going to call her a chef. She's really my daughter. <laughs> but she makes a German sausage chowder that has some Ron Rhodes cabbage ears just perked up. You in it. <laughs> He's like, and okay. it is, I mean, she sold out within a couple hours last year. So she's making, I think, six or seven gallons uh, for this year, along with a few other soups. And one is a vegan soup, a vegan bean soup. Good option, yes. So that will be there. And we will tip, have the typical brats and uh, German bologna and, you know, things of that nature. But, uh, and upstairs, all the breads, all the kuchens, the things that the vendors bring in, there'll be a lot of food around. Well, and it's perfect timing, too, because it's so near Christmas. If you're buying for your Christmas gifts, a guest, that's the ideal thing. Yeah, you know, we're trying to get it before Black Friday, but most people are bringing Black Friday into almost the first of November right. anymore. But, uh, yeah, the, the gifts, as I say, are, are the crafts are all from local people. We don't have anybody from, you know... Chicago or what have you that are in there. And there are some absolutely skilled craftspeople in this area. Yes, there I are. I tell you, yes, it is are. phenomenal. Well, this is going to be a showcase of their talents of great food and the spirit of Germania. Manicor all year long. They bring us the, the joy of the season in a unique way. So December, I mean, November 23rd, 2019. Get over there and get some great soup from your daughter, the great chef. Oh, she is. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jim. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. We'll be it. back with more. Let's check in with Ron. Road. When I go down there to market, there are going to be a lot of guys in leader hose and a lot of women.